Welcome to the Best Small Business Podcast. Rich and I deliver powerful insights, breakthrough ideas, and simple solutions to make your business unbelievably successful. I'm BJ Flagg. And I'm Rich G. And this is episode 168, our favorite business toys for 2020. It's that time of year again. It's the most wonderful time of the, I just love that song. I love that song. Okay. And the, it was hard to pick things that we already use because all I could think about is things I would actually want. Yeah. These are, these are the big ones. I think it was a lot easier for us than we thought. We were just like, I looked around my, my office and I went, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that. So we we both kind of teched up this year. So because of the huge amount of zooming and um, all the webinars and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I didn't buy pants at all for 2020. No pants, no No pants, November. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) I know. I know. Um, I'm going to launch my absolute it. favorite. Absolute favorite is the Apple Pencil and iPad Pro. I really? Have, yeah, I started, I got it and I used it. It was like in a shrine and I would only use it to do my illustrations in a very careful way. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's how I started the year. Now, literally somebody says to me, well, I don't know how that's going to look. I just go, oh, one second. And I sketch it out on my my pro, show it to them, and they're like, oh, that's great. Here, I'll I'll send it to you. And it is instantaneous, absolutely gets the ideas across. And you know, when we're not all in the office all together, it has been a lifesaver. Absolutely love it. How have you found how's you know, is it just like writing on paper? Oh yeah. It feels just that way. And the um, react time is is instantaneous. Well, because they say a lot of the uh, um, the tablets do have a latency with the pen. And so it sounds like Apple's really got rid of that. They got they got that figured out. And it just has so much versatility. There's this one program called Procreate that (laughs) you can have water brushes all different techniques and textures and styles. You could really, that's a bad rabbit hole right there. Bad rabbit hole. (laughs) Do you take notes on it or do you type on it for notes? Oh yeah, you can do anything. You can sit there and just use it as a pencil, you know, just write notes as you go. And um, they have a feature that can change the notes into actual, you know, typed words. Um, You know, it, it has a really good, keyboard that I got along with it. Excellent. I can stay right up to date doing whatever. Um, But it's also like my second uh, visual screen. Oh, I I see. Yeah, I have my big gigantic monitor, but this is sitting right there all the time. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, I was actually thinking of upgrading to the iPad Pro uh, because you could hook it into Zoom and it could be your whiteboard. You could use it for your oh, whiteboard yeah. for clients. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, so anyway, big, great purchase if anybody's thinking about it. Excellent. Well, my first one is my Canon Rebel 6Ti camera. Um, It's an SLR, digital SLR. And it was funny because my wife and I bought it about two years ago to take nicer photos. I mean, our phone could take great photos, but there's just a little bit more flexibility and uh, with the different lenses, you could play with zoom lenses and stuff. Yeah. And we and used it a lot. Yeah. You, did, and, did you did you find yourself like kind of going, uh, you know, over that point of just snap and shoot and taking the picture? Now you really started getting into it. Yeah, it was, you know, I was uh, just using it like that. And then COVID hit. Um, and then what happened was uh, for a lot of uh, I couldn't go to my office. So meeting with clients uh, virtually over webcam, I was using a Logitech 1080p yeah. webcam and it, it was good. And yeah. then I I was speaking to a, a, a client and he was talking about his camera and I was like, let me see if I could hook this up. So I had to buy a special adapter. Um, Mm -hmm. and 
it connected to my Mac and wow. I had to buy a special piece of software called eCam that allows me to use my camera as a webcam. Uh, the only other thing I had to do is buy what they call a permanent battery uh, because the camera is run by a small battery. If you have it on for an hour or two, it's gonna run out of battery. So you have to buy a battery that fits in that's actually connected to an electrical cord, but it's phenomenal. The um, wow. The resolution of my webcam now is like 4k i mean i i have to shave every day now because people could see if i didn't shave so. i remember the first time i saw it i went what's with your what's what's going on with your cam? you know i said your cam is like so clear it was just so clear and for you that's fantastic you know, and it's it's really nice because I, I bought a uh, they call it a, a, a nifty a nifty 50 uh, a lens that allows you to really focus in on yourself. But the background becomes out of focus, slightly out of focus, and it really yeah. pops you for clients. So it's it's a tool that I love. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good yeah. one. Now, um, obviously, I my, this this one is a tripod for my phone. Now, yep. I've tried a couple of different ones. Um, I have one that is kind of it reminds me of a snake. I can form it into any type of shape and mm -hmm. put it into you know on a part of my desk and let it kind of move over. That's awesome. Um, but I find that because I have the the twelve Pro Max the weight of it mm -hmm. gets a little funky with that one but i also have a tripod this little mini very bendable tripod and i have my phone on that mm -hmm. i love it it is just been that was such a small purchase but it is a great purchase and the clarity, like if I'm doing, um, you know, trying to do, you know, get a reel going or, you know, doing some video, it's just the stability you need. And, yeah. oh my gosh, it makes such a difference. And um, it feels to me like the same type of attachment I use on my regular tripod, the big tall one mm -hmm. um, with the telescoping um, legs and stuff it has the same flexibility, you know, so, you know, you can nice. have a smaller phone, larger phone. Anyway, love it. Absolutely great purchase. And it's transportable too. You could take it almost anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Just throw it in your bag. You're great. Oh, that's wonderful. One. Yeah. My next one is the Ikea standing desk. Now mm -hmm. I call it an Ikea standing desk. Now Ikea has standing desks <laughs> and I built mine. It was an Ikea hack a number of years you ago did. You and did. out of, and it's like a bookcase and a countertop and everything. But what's interesting about it, it's very functional because um, when you're standing, you don't need to have room for your legs under your desk. So most standing desks have all this area under it. You really okay. don't need it. So I have a bookcase under it. And it has drawers and books. So um, the standing desk really gets me out of sitting eight hours a day. I'm actually standing seven to eight hours a day. Now, a yeah. lot of people ask, well, you must be exhausted. I go, actually, no, you get used to it very quickly. And you breathe better. You feel better. Um, yeah. And it, it just gets you out of the chair. That's the uh, most important such thing. Such a good thing. Such a good thing. Um, my next one is, and I'm staying with my Apple products, is an Apple, my Apple AirPods. Oh my gosh. I am also one of those people who I just don't want to sit at my desk, you know? So if I've got a call to take, I'll wander. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously it's hilarious now because there's nobody in the office so you can wander the entire office mm -hmm. with your with your um, AirPods on, and they're great. the The clarity is really really good, and you know I'm just impressed with how they figured out having this in your ear and not falling out. 
Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's built perfectly. I have a pair and I use them all the time. So they're just wonderful. And uh, the microphone is great. Um, they charge quickly. That's the other thing, oh, you know, yeah. when you start running out, do you wear two at a time or just one at a time? Um, I wear two, but I notice you wear one. Now, what's that all about? It's hooked up to your computer, so it, it connects to the computer. So talk yep. about that. What? Why one? Well, I just wear one because I, you know, I don't need stereophonic <laughs> uh, uh, speakers for speaking over the phone. Just one in my ear is fine, and actually, the other one's totally charged. So when this starts to run out of power, yeah, I do a quick switch, and then oh. that one's charging, and then the other one's on. Oh, I get you. I get you. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. And, you know, that's the beauty of the Apple products is, you know, it could be paired to your phone. It could be paired to your computer, you know, with easy, easy to do. Absolutely. Well, yeah. mine's a little bit the same as yours, but it's different. I use for coaching a Plantronics headset and these are, and, and by the way, I'm not giving you a, a number for it because the headset I have is probably going on five years old. And so there are newer wow. ones out there that are even better. Um, I love my Plantronics. It's, I, it, again, it's a one ear. It just hits one ear, but, mm -hmm. and it has a microphone in front. The best thing about it is I could coach all day. I could do eight to 10 hours of coaching and the battery just doesn't die. I mean, uh, wow. a, a lot of client service uh, people, I actually used to um, a hotel near a client service and I asked them, what kind of headsets do you use? They go, Plantronics, don't buy anything else. They're the best. Oh and, my gosh. And it's light too. It's not like you're wearing a pair of headphones. I've actually driven off in my car with it on my head because <laughs> I forgot it was on my head. <laughs> And it's comfortable. Your ear doesn't get, you know, people nervous, like, you know, might get sweaty or anything. No, not at all. Mm. Everything's fine. Microphone is cool. Great mute function. Uh, that comes in handy when you've got like the uh, uh, the the allergies and you're coughing and stuff. It's got a mute button. It's got a volume uh, button and it, it logs on and off. It's just it has all the features you need but it just lasts forever. And people say, I have it hooked right up to my landline. So I have clear phone the entire Ooh, time. Very nice. Well, these were good ideas. I'm kind of hoping that everybody, you know, thinks about, Hey, what, you know, what should Santa bring me? These are Absolutely. great ideas. <laughs> yeah. And if you, if you're, you're more interested in one of the things that we've spoken about, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'd love to talk to you a little bit more about them. Uh, but that's all we have for today. Uh, please hit the subscribe button down below to ensure you never miss an episode. And if you've liked this podcast, feel free to share it with your friends. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Click the thumbs up button. The more you click, the more you hear about our weekly podcasts. We want to thank all of our core business partners, everybody who's helped us deliver three years of podcasts. And of course, our producer and editor, Richard Scazzo, who's still with us. Isn't that good, Rich? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he makes everything happen and puts up with us. Speak to you soon and have an unbelievable week. Catch you later.